Hello, this is David Wamsey and in this video I'm taking a look at Beaver Thema and how we can use it with our WooCommerce product archive pages. So Beaver Thema is just out in its alpha testing release so many people are taking a look and seeing what they can do with this powerful plugin. So I thought I would set myself a very small challenge, something I did on a previous client site and that was to introduce this extra tag here which I've called limited. It could be called special offer now as you may know with WooCommerce you can add a little sale tag to any of the images I wanted to do the same with a custom one now previously I would have either have to have used a plugin or messed around with the WooCommerce files but here I was able to do it with Beaver Thema and also I combined that with the AFC plugin or the advanced custom fields plugin to give its full name and what I'll say just before I move on here is that this is an earlier version of what I've done. I've now removed the template here. So if I was to refresh this page, uh, you wouldn't see this any longer. But I've done that so I can just show you some of the things that I've discovered along the way. And that's really what this video is about. Just me walking through what I've learned. OK, so let's go into the back end. Obviously, I've got the plugin installed. So we'll go down to the builder section to our theme layouts. And I've already created one and called it WooCommerce Shop Archive. So let's click in there. And it's already set up with its location to show on Product Archive. So it's going to show on all of my Woo Product Archives because I'm not selected a category. And let's go into our editing our theme layout, which I've removed the existing template. So we've got something blank here. So let's go and select our blank template so this is likely to be what you see if you're coming in here for the first time and what we can do first off is to go over to our woo commerce modules and slide in the products one and this is going to give us a, a pretty standard look for WooCommerce. Now, as you can probably see here in this view is not kind of displaying as you would expect. Now, it's quite interesting because I've also worked with WP Types' tool set, which does a very similar things with page builders. And it also sort of kind of shows it like this in a funky way. But uh, I don't know if this can be fixed or not, but it doesn't really matter. I've just set this to four columns here because it was set to three. So it looks like my example. And I'm just going to save that now. And I will just publish this so you can see that it is, in fact, looking like it should do. So there we are. That's straight out of the box here. Obviously, the limited tags have gone because that was something that I added as a custom thing into the loop on my template. So it's not here. And but we can still see the sale one, which is part of WooCommerce itself. So there we are. Let's go back into our page builder. But here, because we are in our theme layout, as you can see in the URL, this page builder view is for our theme layouts in this case. So let's just take a look at the post itself now. Yeah, it's got all the stuff that you would want to turn on and off and what you would expect. And you can do some of the styling here at the back end. So there's all of that good stuff. But what we're interested in is going into our custom stuff and adding stuff to the loop. So to do that, we need to come over to the sections under layout tabs called post layouts and change that to custom. And as you can see, something's already happened. As soon as I've done this, we'll see that we've got a slightly different display. So all our add to cart buttons gone. And now what we've got is something that looks more like a blog post standard archive layout with the title, the author, the date, description, and read more. So that's what happens here. So don't be too surprised by that. Let's go into here and we'll see that this is all laid out here. So we're in a HTML tab for this. And what it's made up of, all of these different items are made up of Beaver Builder specific short codes like this one there for the featured image. And all these things can be wrapped around in divs or in headers, and they can be given their own custom CSS selector. And the really cool thing about this is from the next tab over here, you can style those selectors all within the same loop and have it apply here. 
I mean, you don't need to, you can do that from your styles.css file if you want, but it's kind of nice and convenient to keep that within a template. Okay, so what shall we do here? Now, obviously this is not what we wanted for our shop, so we can just delete something. Let's, we'll leave it in the read more link here. I'm just going to delete that so we can just get rid of that. And I'll just show you how we can add in some content. So what we need to do when we want to add in another shortcode we go and click on this plus button and here are all our options um, which also includes advanced custom fields when that plugins and that's what I'm using in the uh, example I'm going to move on to next but if we just passed over here we've got a load of WooCommerce ones so let's just stick in I'm not going to do it all but let's go and find our add to cart button now what we need to do here is to make sure that when we're doing this we press the insert button on the far right here so it inserts into this html area if we click just on that we'll find that if i was to save this now we'll just have a series of add to cart buttons and all of the rest of the stuff would disappear so we don't want to do that so let's untick this and do it correctly so back to our WooCommerce options, it's near the bottom, there we are, and we'll insert that there. And in a moment, there we are, it's just shown, there's our add to cart. So that's what we can do, we can delete all of these and we can give it our own custom class and style it. And that's exactly what I've done. So we've covered that, let's go and save this down. I'm gonna delete the whole thing and I'm going to put in my own template that I made earlier. So we'll go over to templates and here it is and we'll insert this. Now it's really only just dawning on me how powerful this is now because we can save out these really complex archive and single post layouts as templates and categorize them and store them. So I think in the future my blueprint or starter theme setup that I start with when I start all projects can contain all of these complex theme layouts and I, I will just activate them as I need them and delete them as I don't. So I'm really, I can see a, a lot coming in the future and I'm also expecting that there'll be improvements for layouts, which I, I, th I think we all know are coming for Beaver Builder 2.0. So it's gonna be pretty awesome, I think. Okay, so there, here's my template that I set up. So it's really basic stuff. And I really was just going to show you how I got this extra custom field in here. And this was quite interesting in itself. So what I've done just to quickly show you, I've added in the cart and I've added in my own CSS here to center this. And I put that all in this side and my limited offer has been placed in here as well, the CSS for that. But what I originally did, I was going to select here using an advanced custom field. And I was placing a standard shortcode for that, which looks pretty much similar to this. And I was wrapping around this to style it, this span class of limited offer. So that was around the whole of the shortcode itself. But what happened with that was that, of course, we're only using the limited on a few products and the rest of the time it wasn't. So I was relying on my ACF or my advanced custom field to output the word limited and be wrapped around there. And of course, when it wasn't output in limited, I would still be left with the span tags on all of the products that didn't have limited there. So it was just all this extra junk tags here that just didn't need to be there. So I put this question out on the Beaver Builder Facebook group and luckily Justin was able to answer it. So Justin Booser, the lead developer for this plugin and Beaver Builder answered it and it was something I didn't know about. So I will go to it now because there's an article on the Beaver Builder knowledge base and I will put a link below here. Now this just covers generally a bit about field connector shortcodes and the stuff I was mentioning there. But if we come down to the bottom here, we'll see that they've got conditional shortcodes where we can put an if statement for it. So we wrap some content in here around these conditional statements here. So we can do this with custom fields as well. So basically the stuff in the middle of here will show depending on whether it's active or not. 
And we can reverse that by putting this exclamation mark. So you might be familiar that, with that if you sort of work with WordPress sort of code like this so that we can get the reverse of it. So uh, something in here will show if it's not activated, if you like. I hope this makes sense. Anyway, I'll go back and show you my example. It's probably the easiest way of you understanding this. And before I move on, just be aware that I'm using my thema.beaverjunction.com website. So you can come to the front page of this, log in and create your own version of this so you can actually see this code and the CSS if you like and play around with it yourself. So please do that if that's going to help you understand this. So here's what I've actually done. My field is an ACF field and it's a radio field is the type. I've given it the name of limited underscore offer here. But here I'm using the conditional, which ends here. So it's the if conditional. So what we know is if this is ticked on, it is going to output this content here. So I've put the actual word limited, whoops, it's moving around here, in between the spans, but all of this span and the limited won't show if my radio's not clicked. I hope that makes sense. Now let me just show you the actual field itself. So. Here's uh, my advanced custom fields plugin here. So if I go, I've created one called WooCom Archive. I'll go and click in here. It's only got the one field, which is my limited offer product. There's my name, I said, and the type is radio button. But here, if we look in this, I'm not outputting the word limited like I was trying to do before. Before, I put in some choices and I could decide whether I was going to show the value uh, of this or not to output it. That's why I originally did it and that's my problem. Now I'm just putting in some, some information to label up the back end. And to make sure that I've set this, I need to come down to locations, set the rules here. So it's a post type that is equal to product. So we know that's just going to show on all of the products that are in WooCommerce because that's the only one that has that custom post type. Okay, I hope you're still with me. And let me just go and look at one of the products so you can see. Now, there's a lot you can do with AFC. Maybe I'll cover this later. It's a new plugin to me, but I realize you can move around the position and do lots of clever stuff. But here it is. So that's how I set it up. So it's just simple. Is this product limited? And then I just click yes on this. Now, this one is the writer one. So I am going to take a look. And this have I got I've got writer there so we can see it's not on let me just save this and if I go back let's just save this first okay there's writer and I shall go back into here and tick this on just to see that I'm not fooling you that's saved we'll go back and we'll give this a quick refresh and there we are it's gone on to writer so yes that's pretty much it so i just thought the, the most useful thing out of this i hope this gives you a, a brief overview about how to just get in and do some basic customization but certainly this if statement thing on this article uh, certainly adds a, a lot more power into the equation anyway that's me done i hope this has been uh, useful to you um if you can think of anything that you would really like me to cover next time around then i'll have a stab at it but i'll continue to try and think up some different examples and explore this further if you like this then please give me a like because that really encourages me to do more of this so thanks a lot for listening hope to catch you again soon Bye bye <laughs>